there and welcome back to another episode here on Hall Family Farms. Today's project is a little bit different. It's still gardening related but it is a, a carpentry project for the greenhouse. Uh, we need more space to put our seedling trays and potted plants in the greenhouse and we want to maximize that space and the way we do that is by adding some shelving. So what we are doing here today is we are building the frame here out of uh, pressure treated 2x4 material and if you look over here we have um, this is basically uh, closet shelving that's uh, made out of metal and it's coated so it shouldn't rust but it will allow for drainage when we water our plants in the greenhouse and any moisture that may accumulate and drop down uh, it should prevent that from rusting so this is six feet and so the uh, bench slash shelf <laughs> will be six feet so that's what we're working on today we're building the frame and then we will add this so Let's get back to the project here. Okay, so we have uh, one leg attached here and we are going to attach this other leg. And we need our tape measure here to make some markings, so. We're gonna Okay. Looks to be about right. So we'll set our tip measure aside here. We'll get our trusty carpenter square to transfer that mark so we'll know where we want our next leg to be here. We're going to mark it off at 58 inches. We're going to leave a little bit to cantilever over in the greenhouse. So let's see if we can get this leg attached. We'll use our square to make sure we've got it square here. Okay, now I'm going to use my knee as a support. We're going to pre drill a couple of pilot holes here. And we are using uh, two and a half inch uh, deck screws. They are coated to prevent rusting as well. So we're going to put these in here. That way they don't drill all the way through so we don't have a, an issue with you know catching your clothing or something like that on the end of the screw. So it won't go all the way through. Okay. So now that we've got that set up, we are going to um, flip it over and we'll add some more screws on the other side so that we have uh, maximum support here. So I'm going to stop that now and then we'll come back and we'll do the other side. Okay, we're over here at the crosscut saw and we need to measure out the ends for our gardening bench that we're going to install in the greenhouse. So the width of the closet 
shelving that we bought is 20 inches. So we're going to make the width of the bench 20 and a half inches so that we'll have a little bit of room so that we can fasten that shelving onto the frame that we're building. So let me get my ruler out here and my pencil. And we're looking at 20 and a half inches and we're going to mark that right there. And we'll go ahead and mark this one as well. Okay, so we've got our marks. And we're going to take our triangle here. Okay, now that we have our marks square, we're going to get that here on the bench. other one cut. Alright. Let's see how we did here. Line these up together. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to take our ends and we're going to fasten those to the two sides that we completed already. So we'll go and set the camera up so you can see that. Okay, we have our two side frames here and we're going to try to attach the ends here as best we can. And so we're going to pre-drill pre some holes here. Okay, we have our two sides standing up as they will be in the greenhouse once we get it in the greenhouse. And we have the, the end pieces that we cut over on the cross cut saw. We've got those screwed in on one end and held here with uh, clamps so that we can get screws in. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's get some screws in this on this end and then we will attach the other end. Okay, that looks really good. We're going to remove our tag here. And I think what we're going to do to hold it down is use some of those uh, fencing nails. See if we've got some of those to attach this on. And then we will take it out to the greenhouse and get it set up. Uh, now you might ask, 
will this just be standing free form or will it be attached? I'm planning to attach the outer legs to the raised bed frame that we have built into the greenhouse and that should help keep it from falling over. I don't think that we're going to have an issue with that, but I think this is going to work out nicely. Uh, I may I may go ahead and put a center support here just to give it a little more strength. I mean, it feels pretty solid, but we might, we might do that. I'm not sure. Uh, get a, yeah, we, we, we'll probably go ahead and cut and put two supports in here just in case we put something on here that might be a little extra heavy. Otherwise, I'm real pleased with how it's turned out so far. So let's set this aside. And let's cut those braces. We'll measure and give them a cut. Okay, we're going to finish up the second brace here that we've put in the middle to give it some support. We've already pre-drilled the holes here and we have one screw in on this side. So we will go ahead and put these in. Okay, we are all set. We've got the frame done. And so we're going to move it out to the greenhouse and get the bracket on and then we will attach the the shelf to the frame. So we'll see you in the greenhouse in just a few minutes. Okay, let's take this out to the greenhouse. Okay, we have the bench out here. Before we take it into the greenhouse, I just want to go ahead and fasten the wire shelving on top of this. And so what we are using to attach this, this is called a, a fencing nail. It's kind of a U-shape, or if you, I guess a U-shape. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some of those in here and I, what I have found is it helps to use some pliers to hold these things in place. Okay, you kind of get the uh, the idea here. So I'm going to stop the camera now, finish putting some more of these uh, fencing nails in to hold the metal wire shelving onto the frame, and then we will install it in the greenhouse. Okay, now that we have the wire shelving attached to our frame, we're now ready to see if we can fit it into the greenhouse. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to take you inside so you can see for yourself. Okay, that's uh, what it looks like inside the greenhouse. And as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and put some screws down at the bottom to attach the legs to the raised bed that we have 
in here and that should kind of anchor it so we'll do it also on the other leg there on the back that you see uh, next to that little trowel so let's do that next okay we're gonna attach it to the raised bed frame we have here we'll attach this leg here and then we will see if we can put a screw into this back one to kind of help give it some support and we'll do the same thing for the front over here Okay, and because this was built on a little bit on a slope, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't fasten the spec, and then I'll probably add a brace to the back on that side, and that should help give it some more stability so it doesn't feel as unstable. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, now that we have our seedling bench installed, I think it's going to work out great. We'll be able to set our trays that we purchased from Bootstrap Farmer. If you go back and look at that episode, you'll see where we had an unboxing for that. So we'll get those on here. It's perfect width, 20 inches. That's the width of the, or I guess I should say the length. The width of this, the length of the trays, uh, but you can never have enough shelving or space in your greenhouse, no matter how big your greenhouse is, I'm afraid. At least that's what I'm kind of starting to figure out and why I'm really considering building another greenhouse right next to this one, only a lot bigger. Uh, I'm thinking about seeing if I can attach another shelf, which would be a little bit uh, more narrow, but another shelf, say about this height, and about maybe 12 inches in width. And that way I can put some smaller pots with plants in them kind of above the seedling bench here. So that's kind of my thought. And then who knows, we might add some shelving on the other side. We really need to maximize our space and we do have some vertical space here. So, and then I'm gonna put the soil underneath here so that we can grow some crops below this and try to maximize every inch of this greenhouse that we can. So that's kind of the plan. So we'll see if we can make it happen. Okay, welcome back. We are about ready to wrap up this project on the seedling bench and shelving unit. So we've been working on the second tier shelf for smaller pots and seedling trays and so just got a couple more screws to put in that and then we can start putting our seedling trays on here so let's finish up here with a couple of screws okay I think that's it. Okay, I think we've uh, got this nice and secure. So I think this is gonna work out very nice having our strawberries potted up in these nice pots we got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I think we'll be able to fit quite a few of those up here. I already moved over this little seedling tray that has some broccoli seedlings already sprouted. So they're up here basking in the sun. I think that's gonna be nice. And this is going to be really great when we get our trays filled out here. So anyway, uh, that's all we have for this episode. Uh, so if you like the content in this video, please give a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Support our channel, hit the subscribe button, and also that notification bell so that you're always notified when we update new material. So until next time, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.